This is a Butler Library video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple research guide. Uh, to begin, I'm going to show you my screen so that you can follow along. This is the uh, library homepage. You can navigate there from uh, the Lindwood University website. The link is at the top right hand side. On the left-hand side, you'll notice uh, a series of menus. To get to the research guides, you want to click on the research menu and click research guides. This will take you to the research landing page, which is uh, this page here. You can navigate to any existing guides that have been published right here, as well as sign into your admin uh, login. If you do not have an admin login yet, uh, assigned to you, you can contact Butler Library and we will be happy to create an account for you so that you can begin creating your own research guides. Uh, I'm going to click on this admin sign-in and it will take you to the sign-in page which looks like this. I will uh, go ahead and sign in to our uh, main account. And it will take me to the admin landing page. This is your home page where you can access existing guides that you are currently working on or create new guides. Uh, we're going to actually create a new guide. So I'll click on create a new guide. And there are two options. The first option is to start from a blank, uh, blank slate. It says start fresh means there will only be a home page tab and no boxes created for you. You can also use a template which allows you to use uh, previously created guides as a template. So those will pull that information there and you can simply modify the information. Uh, you can also have the option of using a guide from a, another institution, although you will have to contact that institution to receive permission to use that guide as a template. Uh, we're going to start with a a fresh guide. We're going to uh, create one from scratch. So I'm going to create a simple art research guide as an example here. So in, in the guide, guide title, you will type in your title. And below that, a description of your guide. And then you click Create Guide at the bottom. And this will create your guide for you. As you can see, there is nothing except for a Home tab at the top for navigating, and no boxes except for the default uh, library box. Uh, to start, though, we're going to want to add a second page. So up at the top, where it says Add Edit Pages, you click on that and click Add Reuse Page. You can reuse existing pages or create one from scratch. We're going to create a new page called Art Resources. And then click uh, click Save. If you want to add it to a tab that already exists, you can click Add under that particular tab. But we want to create a separate tab. So click Save. And we now have a second tab at the top, as you can see. Uh, it is also blank. So we're going to start by creating a simple uh, text box that you can add images, text to, uh, widgets, uh, depending on your, your level of coding skills. So uh, you click on Add New Box, and we'll select Rich Text as the type. Um, we'll call this box Introduction Text. We now have a box that we can enter uh, text into, images, however we would want to use it. So I'll click on Add or Edit Text, and we'll create a, a simple, uh, some simple text for this box. And 
uh, I'm also going to add an image here. Click on the add image and insert it. Uh, ordinarily, you would have to browse your, your desktop if you don't already have images loaded. We have a lot of images loaded, though. Um, We'll just go ahead and add this image as an example. And you'll want to enter all text. This is for uh, those who, uh, visually impaired users who uh, have difficulty seeing the objects. This tell, gives them an alternate text to tell them what the object is. So you enter a text there. And you click Insert. And there is uh, our image globe. Uh, you click on Save. And as you can see, we now have some text with the image inserted. You can uh, adjust the size of the image before you actually upload it. It's probably the best idea. Next, we're going to add a, a box to add links. So we'll do that on the left-hand side. You click on Add New Box. And for content type, there's actually link boxes you can use. We're going to click on Links and List and just call this Art Websites, and click Create Box. We now have a new box. And you'll notice that the difference is there is actually an option to add a new link. Uh, I have went ahead and pulled up some, uh, some websites as well. So we're going to add the St. Louis Art Museum to the site. So you can simply highlight it, click, click Control-C, or right-click and click Copy. And then you add a new link and paste the new link into that and give it a title so we have a text to it. And you want it to open in a new window so that users don't navigate away from your guide. And you can put some optional text down here to describe it. So we'll just enter some text as an example. And you click Create Link, and there is your link with some text describing it below. So there's a, that's another type of box you can actually create. Uh, below that, we're actually going to create a second box, and I'm going to show you how to add an RSS feed. So if you wanted a, a journal site that has an RSS feed on there or a news site, um, you simply click on uh, Multimedia Boxes, and there's an RSS feed option. So you click on that. And we're going to say news from the library. We'll use our own library RSS feed as an example. So you've created that. And you go to the RSS feed page, and you copy that URL. You click on Add URL Feed, and enter your URL there. And once you click Save, your RSS feed will appear with the latest post, in this case 5, that's what I set. And each of them, as you hover over them, will have a description of what that article is about. So that is a, a pretty easy way to add some news articles. I'm also going to show you now how to add an embed a video onto the, the research guide in case there is a, a YouTube video or a video you have uh, that you want to upload. Uploading your videos to YouTube is probably uh, a best practice. It makes it much easier to embed them. So I pulled up a Learning to Draw uh, video on YouTube. You click on the Share option and click on Embed. So you want to copy the code that appears. and then. I add, you add a, a, we're adding a new box, so we're going to go down to Multimedia and click Embedded Media and Widgets. And this is an art video tutorial we're adding. Click on Create Box. And now we can add the code that we copied earlier. So you click on Add Media Widget Code, and you paste that into there, and embed it. Now you'll notice that the video's uh, standard size is too big for our uh, for, for our uh, column here. 
you can adjust that in the code itself. So you click on Edit, and then notice there's an area where it says Width. This is in pixels, if you're familiar with coding. Uh, the important thing to remember is that these, the number of pixels, as they get smaller, the video will get, actually get smaller. So we're going to reduce this down to 360 width. You click on Save, and we now have a video that fits in our box. Uh, you could adjust it a little bit more if you wanted to fill the entire box, but this will work uh, for us as an example. Uh, you can also, if you don't like the placement of a box that you put, or you want to rearrange things, you go to Add Edit Pages, and you can reorder the boxes. So, say I wanted to move the news feed to the right-hand side. We can put that over there. Update the order of the boxes. And now you'll see the news feed is on the right-hand side. You can also, by going to Add, and Edit Pages, change the size of the columns. Say we wanted a bigger right-hand side. Say we wanted 300. And then we now, by adjusting that, have a wider right-hand column and a smaller center column. You can also remove columns if you don't want a right column or a left-hand column. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to edit some of the visual things uh, on this guide and add some subject headings. Uh, under the guide look and feel, you want to click on change guide style. This will allow you to, to change some default colors here as well as the style of the tabs. So you can click on round, for instance, and say we wanted to go with a nice blue color scheme. You click on the appropriate ones. And then you can also change the box appearance. So we want to make those match. So we're going to click round. And we're going to go with the same blue color. You can also, in the box options, change them to a custom color. Uh, and then click save. And now, as you can see, the colors for the tabs have changed, as well as the box and their style. Uh, as I mentioned, the last thing I want to change is these, there's no subject headings or subject tags, which makes it uh, impossible for students to find. So go into Guide Settings. You can go on to Change Guide Information. You'll notice a tab that says Subject Associations. You want to go to that first. And this is the ones about art, so we can click one of the pre-assigned uh, subject headings. We'll click on Art, and that will put the guide once it's published onto the art category and on the research land, uh, guide landing page. You can also assign tags as well. We have a, a lot of them already pre-made, but you can also add your own. So we want to add art, uh, St. Louis Art Research. We'll just add two as an example. Uh, you separate them by commas, and then you click Save. And you now have two subject tags that can also be used to find these tags. And these tags will also aid uh, internet uh, search engines to, in finding this particular guide. So um, that is all there is to creating a very basic uh, research guide. As you can see, we already have a number of different text boxes some embedded video. Um, so this is a, a good start to creating a guide that your students will find useful. If you have any additional questions, you can email Butler Library or myself, Michael Fetters. Uh, we look forward to uh, helping you create some more research guides for your students.